This Penguin video is to show you how to test a compressor to see if the motor has a dead short and to see whether it's then worth putting a new controller on. So we've got two compressors here. We're going to start with the older style compressor, the BD 2.5 or BD 3. And there's two things we want to do, both of which are using a multimeter. So get your multimeter and put it in so it's on ohms for continuity. This multimeter has a beep alarm when it's in continuity, so if I touch the two probes together, it beeps. Hopefully you can hear that. So the first test we're going to do, having removed the controller from the compressor to reveal the four pins in this instance, which are used to, from the controller to the compressor, we're going to take our meter. Before we do that, we're going to just scratch a bit of paint off the vessel of the compressor just to get back to bare metal. So we've got a bit of bare metal there. We're going to put one probe on the bare metal and then we're going to put the other probe to each of the pins in turn. And what we're looking for is continuity. If we hear a beep, we know we've got a dead short within the motor and the compressor body. So I've gone around each of the four pins now. I'm getting no continuity. So this compressor doesn't have a dead short to the body. So that is my first test and happily this compressor has passed. So the next thing I'm going to do is now measure the resistance of the pins. Now in the, the resistance will vary according to the heat of the compressor so the test we're going to do is quite rough but what I'm going to do is go from one pin to the other pins and just check that I've had no more than five ohms. If I have more than five ohms chances are the compressor is not right and it's not worth putting a new controller on. So I'm just going to change my mode so I can measure it and I'm going to start here and go from pin to pin. So on this pin I've got 0.75, on this pin I've got 0.35 and on this pin I've got 0.5. So on this compressor it's not showing a high resistance. I've got no dead short to the outside of the body. Should be fine to put a new controller on. OK, so now we're going to do the same test with this BD35 compressor. Again, we've removed the control box. If you need to know how to do that, you need to look back at one of our earlier videos. But with the control box off, I've got the three pins. So again, having scraped a little bit of paint away on the side of the unit. I can now test each pin for continuity on the side of the vessel. One, two, three. No beeping sound, so no continuity, so there's no dead short there. So again, I now use the same resistance setting ohms to check the resistance on the, each pin. So starting with the common, I go from the common to the top. Well, I've got 0.06. I go from the bottom to the other side where I've got 0.08. So check the two between the two and again I've got 0.06. So on this compressor I've got low resistance across the pins and no dead short to the outside. I would say this compressor is also good.